There is more fallout from the scandal involving Larry Nasser tonight. The former USA Gymnastics doctor was sentenced this week to as much as 175 years in prison for abusing young girls. Today, the organization's directors agreed to resign. And Michigan State Athletic Director Mark Hollis said he's stepping down. Nasser treated athletes at the school for nearly two decades. Dr. John LaPook reports there are serious questions about how the university responded to complaints. Amanda Tomasho was one of the 156 women who confronted Larry Nasser during his sentencing hearing. I didn't know who to tell, and I was scared no one would believe me. Sometimes I even had a hard time believing myself, but at the end, I knew I had to report it. In 2014, Tomasho complained to Michigan State University that she had been sexually abused by Nasser. Sexually assaulted me. The university conducted a sexual harassment investigation and cleared him. The report given to Tomasho concluded. We cannot find that the conduct was of a sexual nature, but said her claim would help them examine practices at MSU. But a different, more detailed conclusion was sent to Nasser and his boss at Michigan State. Unknown to Tomashaw, the report found significant problems that the practice will want to address. Those problems included exposing patients to unnecessary trauma based on the possibility of perceived inappropriate sexual misconduct and the failure to obtain consent. The report also recommended a chaperone during a sensitive procedure. Nevertheless, Larry Nassar was cleared to practice again under new guidelines that were never actually enforced. A 2017 Michigan State University police investigation stated at least 12 assaults were reported after Nassar was cleared in 2014. Many of them were at MSU and involved the lack of a chaperone during sensitive procedures and ungloved skin-to-skin -skin contact. Tomasho told CBS News today she felt anger and betrayed that her university concealed critically important information from her. Michigan State University told CBS News it was standard practice to have an internal version of report when no violation of their sexual harassment policy had been found. They added, Tomasho was told the investigation had led to policy changes. John LePook, thank you for your continued reporting on this story.